I find the Dragon's Delight events to be some of the most top- WHAT IS THAT?! No, you see this? You seeing this dragon? What is that? That's a new dragon. What the heck? Is that in the codex? I'm sorry, I had to stop mid ran What the heck? Okay, well, they're definitely showing us new dragons. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, but... Wow, that, lo that looks so cool, actually. <laughs> Hi, hi, hello, and welcome back to DML. So, of course, the new Dragon's Delight event has just begun in DML, and today we will be taking a look at it, going through, you know, little tips and stuff like that to get you through the event. But anyway, let's jump straight in. So, this is the Screaming Eagles event. It will last four days, grand total, with the first prize being the magnificent little raptor dragon. So as soon as we get in, we will get a mini tutorial here. So hello Trina, I see you've come to try out my newest invention, the Dragon's Delight. So then we have to click this play button and that's been updated. Oh my god, look at that. That fire dragon actually looks terrifying, what the heck? So look, one of your dragons wants to play too. Dragon drop items in the Dragon's Delight to help your dragon play. So Andy, our autumn dragon here, is asking for these three. So we go and drag them over, we get one happy dragon. Easy enough. Helping your dragon will boost your delight score. Get the highest delight score to win the first prize. You can refill the dragon's delight prizes by using daubs. First round's on me. So you fill all of these up with these little items, and then you have to give them to the dragon that wants them. So, for example, a lantern dragon wants a hat, and two of these purple, I don't know, confetti things, whatever you want to call them. So then we'll get another point in the event. So. It costs 30 of these daubs to refill these little tubes here. You can also reset your dragon, which takes an hour for them to come back each time. So I'm not going to do that quite yet. But the big rule of thumb with these events, as always, is do not trash. If you trash, you are wasting your items. So that is the, the golden rule in Dragon's Delight events. Do not trash. If you want to change the items, refresh your dragons and wait. As simple as that, literally. So, that is the very basics of how the event itself runs, but of course, like I said, the leaderboard prize dragon is this epic raptor dragon, light, shadow, and energy. So, honestly, this is actually a pretty good epic to have on sort of a starting team. Really high base damage for an epic, and hey, he's not really weak to too much apart from like legendary, but very good dragon that you can only get through getting the top three places on the leaderboard. So honestly, the Raptor is going to be by far the most difficult dragon to get a hold of, but depending on your bracket, you may get lucky and get him. But the milestone prizes, the main prizes from this event that I'm excited for is the 350, which is a habitat limit extender, which, oh, you know I love these things. 550 is the pilgrim dragon, which um, is just a, a rare dragon that's been a weekly breedable before, but, you know, he's here if you want him. And then the final milestone prize is for the patriot dragon, which is an epic dragon that has never been available in-game before. So... Technically speaking, the Patriot Dragon is the rarest out of all of these dragons, so try your best, get 700 Happy Dragons, and you will be good to go. So, on top of that, of course, with Dragon's Delights, you're like, well, how do I get more of these door bulbs? Whatever they call them, I don't know anymore. But, you get more by completing these quests at the bottom here. So, resets every six hours. And these quests will not change, but you get 300 points per quest. So we have to collect gold, collect food, breed dragons, catch creatures, win battles, and feed dragons. So, one of the best ways to do that, get a little baby fire dragon, hatch the thing, go place it in a habitat, like the random fire habitat we have over here, feed it up. That way, you don't have to spend a lot of food, and you can get all the points from the event without having to pretty much waste anything. Very handy. Definitely something that I wish I'd have known as a very low-level sort of person. And if we click on the gold vault, it does collect all of the gold from our habitat, so you can use that without actually having to collect or click on each habitat separately. So, then we have food collection. During these events, it's genuinely 
better most of the time because you'll see we have not collected anywhere near enough food for you know this item collection period i would definitely suggest putting in six hour food so whether that be squarey berries or dragon scale as long as you're coming back every six hours that will fully deplete the uh the amount of stuff that you need but we will pop in some more spring cherries to get some more points for this this one and what else do we need to do now so breeding we can't do but we can win battles of course so we will go straight in and uh, do a few of these fights together so these events really do force you to do all of your daily stuff but do it at the right times and make sure you're doing it every six hours of course so in a way i am happy that whenever these dragons delight events come out they do actually force me on the game a lot more often than i would be normally and to be honest i haven't done the math on how easy or how difficult the event is going to be yet because the event came out literally 11 minutes ago so we'll probably take a look at that within the next day or so because you know, with some of the recent events, they have been very tedious, let's say, where you've had to be logging in, like, all the time to actually get through them. And I have not done the math on this current Dragon's Delight event quite yet, but the last one was doable, so I hold out high hopes that this one will be the same. And, of course, the leaderboard change where the top three can get it instead of just the top one, Amazing change. I am really happy with that, but there can still be improvements made to this event. I mean, if they'd have just made this event a little bit easier overall, as in make it you only have to log in every 12 hours or so, I think that would be better for the average person. But you know, it's early days. We know very little about the event, just we know how to do it. It's just, you know, I'm sure the DML wiki and everything else like that will update with all the info, their own little set of how-to-dos and stuff like that. And people on the forums will always post, like, little guides and stuff like that as well. So, you know, if you do need more help with the event, there are tons of people out there that will help you. Me, other people on the forums, Facebook, in groups, on the Discord server, everyone's around to help you. But one thing that I will note, because people always talk about this, and there's always lots of fighting and anger about this part of the Dragon's Delight events. Of course, the Patriot Dragon is the top milestone prize, but the leaderboard prize with this Raptor Dragon, it used to be if everyone stayed at position one, they would all get the leaderboard prize dragon as a reward. So if, like, 20 people stopped, at 700 points, all 20 of those people would get the Patriot Dragon and they would get the Raptor Dragon as well. And because they've changed this event slightly, to be honest, I don't know if that's going to work anymore. So you may see people saying stop at 700 points and you might see people getting really angry about it on Facebook and that, but you've got to remember that there is no actual guarantee that we know that that will work this time. <laughs> Same with any other time. So, if people do go over the max amount of points that you expect them to go to, don't blame them. You know, there's a good chance they may just not even know about that strat to begin with. Because, to be honest with you, I find the Dragon's Delight events to be some of the most top... What is that?! No, you see this? You seeing this dragon?! What is that? That's a new dragon. What the heck? Is that in the codex? I'm sorry, I had to stop mid ran What the heck? Okay, well, they're definitely showing us new dragons. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, but... Wow, that, look that looks so cool, actually. <laughs> okay, well, I was a little bit distracted there, but... Look, like I was saying, don't blame people if they're... If they don't seem to know what's going on in terms of doing that special strat. I get why people are, can get annoyed by it because they used to go, Yeah, well, if you were just nice, everyone could win in the event. Yes, that is true, but not everyone's aware of it. So, you know, 
Stop getting your panties in a twist. Is basically the idea. And here, can we actually give anything out? I mean, we can give a, uh, a balloon here. Phone! Stop going off. But now he's telling us about trashing our items. And like I said, I don't really suggest doing this. And you can also send away your dragons after the dragon is gone. You must wait an hour before it appears. I've already talked about that. I don't even want to reset that guy. The problem is I probably should, but I'm going to reset this one anyway, because I just don't want to get rid of him. So you can reset, and for example, I'll just do this as a, an explanation. You can skip using six gems, and then it will give you a different set of items. So then I can go boom, boom, and then we'll refill this again, and yet again we are stuck. <laughs> well, we can get rid of him now, but... So many damn fireworks. Jeez. Okay, we can give this away. We just need purple. Why won't you give me purple? God damn it. Oh, whatever. We'll reset this one again then and we'll see how our luck goes. But I am hoping that for anyone that wasn't too sure about how the event works, this is the general idea. And if you do get really, really antsy, obviously you can just trash everything to get the exact item you want. But... Don't blame me when you get really behind in the event for doing that, okay? Okay, I hope it all makes sense. If it doesn't, make sure you reach out and ask me for any more advice or help, whatever you want. And also be aware that creatures will spawn around your islands, which will give you more points as well, of course, because it's part of the event stuff. So make sure you're logging in frequently enough. And will we get the shard? This is our final thing for today. Spin, spin, spin to win! A rare chest? That's not too bad. Are you gonna give me anything good? Claim! God damn. I always hold out so much hope. And it never goes successfully. It is our final shard though, so the, the, the final shards are known for being very, very annoying to get. So I'm not gonna blame anyone for that. But anyway, I am gonna do some digging around to see if we've got any other new dragons in this codex. And you know, if there are new dragons in the game... I imagine the DML wiki is probably going to update with their image files, elements, and stuff like that soon. I can't really find anything in here yet, but we definitely have confirmation that there are new dragons now because of that one that we just saw. So, um, for now, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you log in and take part in the event. But until next time, I will see you then.